I'm Jacqueline Franchetti, and I'm Kira's mom. Six years ago today, Jacqueline Franchetti buried her two-year-old daughter, Kira, after the child's father shot her twice while she slept and set his Virginia house on fire. During a weekend visit, Kira's mother tried to stop. He was not mentally ill. He was an abuser. And this is what abusers do. They hurt the child to hurt you. Franchetti once said it hurt to breathe after Kira was killed, but she threw her energy into family court reforms, especially better training for judges who make custody decisions. And she met other mothers who felt her pain. Look at my baby getting so big. This was three year old Autumn Coleman on her way to a court ordered visit with her father in early May 2019. And when he calls me on video chat, I see a video of my daughter burning in the background. Burning in the background. Autumn died in a locked burning car, and her father succumbed to burn injuries months later. Autumn's mother attended Kira's rally today. Still angry, family court didn't heed the red flags that the child's father was unstable. And I still don't feel like enough is being done to protect the children. And it upsets me that I know there are going to be more moms and more children that are going to go through this. Julicia is forever seven years old. A recent horrific case involved the brutal death of Julicia Batiste. The child's mother and half-brother were charged with Julicia's murder nearly a year after the girl's body was discovered with old and new injuries in her mom's Bronx apartment. Her paternal grandmother had fought but failed to keep the child in her care. Troublingly, the judiciary has not kept pace with the experts in the field of domestic violence. Jennifer Friedman of Sanctuary for Family says there are lethality factors judges need to look at when making custody decisions. Jacqueline Franchetti said the forensic evaluators in her case did not follow clues concerning Kira's father. Knew that her father had purchased not one but two guns and that he was suicidal, and he recommended joint custody. Assemblyman Jeff Dinowitz is one of the legislators pushing bills for family court reform. They shouldn't have been lost. It should never have happened. And I swore that I would try to do my part to do something about it. Kira's mother went directly from her press conference outside Nassau County Family Court to a hearing in Manhattan about domestic violence. She's going to ask Governor Hochul to sign Kira's law and to also support a package of eight bills to protect children in custody cases.